Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Kind of want to say that because I thought it was funny. However, we are here to talk about not a cat or a kitten, but our sweet girl cookie. Who I had to bribe to step for me today. This is gonna be a shorter video. I was asked about Cookie and adopting versus buying a young baby bird. I just wanted to talk about that and talk about our experience with Cookie real quickly and just let you know whether or not I think it's a good idea to buy or adopt. So there's this whole thing going around about adopt don't shop and I, it's really hard for me to side one way or another. Given a couple of different variables I think it should be a pretty simple decision for most people in regards to birds but I think it's important that you take into consideration your experience with birds and how comfortable you are with the unknowns. It's pretty commonly discussed on YouTube that birds are the number one rehomed pet and that's because they are not the easiest pet to own. People, unfortunately for a lot of animals, people tend to get in over their heads, not really understanding the amount of attention that their pet is going to require, the amount of time, effort, work, money, and birds is going to be probably number one on that list because they are really, they're number 10 out of difficulty out of all of those things. We decided to look around into adoption. Cookie was on consignment at our favorite bird store, Everything Birds. When we met her, she was being really friendly to most people, but I could see in her eye that she had a kindness and I was immediately comfortable with the idea of adopting her. We also have experience as, I use this term very loosely as bird trainers or bird handlers because we've taken some extensive advice and training courses through some people that I admire a whole lot, um, Jamie and Dave Womack with Bird Tricks. And we've worked really hard to do our best to follow their advice and um, their training methods to help build a better relationship with our birds. We had our two son Conyers before we got Cookie and I knew I was confident in my abilities to overcome obstacles that, basic obstacles. Um, you know, unwillingness to do certain things like stepping up and, um, but, but allowing us to pet her was, is totally on Cookie's terms because there's times where she wants nothing to do with my hands. And there's that fine line that you're walking when getting a bird that you aren't hand raising because they are a full-fledged adult and they probably have been mishandled or not handled well or not handled at all. Getting an older bird and thinking you can just touch it and hold it and treat it like you would have a baby that you hand raised is an extremely dangerous misconception. Um, Cookie has bitten both of us. On my part, I know it was a misunderstanding of timing. Uh, there were variables. Emma, my daughter, was standing on the floor. Cookie appears not to really care for children. I don't know if it's because they move quickly and startle her or if she had an experience with children. Emma was standing at my feet one day and I was holding Cookie and she didn't do anything in particular, but Cookie was just uncomfortable and nipped me on the arm. And it didn't break the skin or anything, but it did startle me and make me uncomfortable. That's something I had to learn from. Um, and we have to be just careful handling Cookie when there's kids around. My best friends all have all have children. And that makes it hard to just have Cookie out and about because she wants our attention. And sometimes she's a little intimidating. She'll scream and be really loud around kids. She tends to be much more aggressive. Uh, she'll bite, bite at the air when we walk by. And that's all very intimidating and that's not something that you would typically incur with a baby bird. Baby birds don't really know any better. They know what you teach them. I guess in a roundabout way, I'm trying to say, if you have 
a level of training experience and you're comfortable handling birds and that's something that you've been doing for a period of time or you're comfortable learning how to do, then I would say adopting is a great option. There's a lot of birds out there that um, have not been properly loved or they just became annoying because their owner didn't have the time to commit to them. And there's a lot of birds out there that need homes with people like you who are willing to give them that chance. Oh. Just like Cookie, um, I know sometimes we get frustrated uh -huh. with her and we wish maybe we had bought a baby bird because you can raise them the way that you want and avoid a lot of things that, that an, an older bird comes with, like baggage and bad habits and um, aggressive behavior uh -huh. over something that you wouldn't think is that big of a deal, but they think it's a big deal because they've been punished for it in the past or taught that their behavior is appropriate. However, if you are not willing to put in the time and training, I don't think birds for you anyway. Um, you know what? I'm just going to say that if you're not willing to adopt a bird and put in the time and effort, I don't think that a baby's for you either. So diet is really important at impacting their behavior. Um, we noticed a huge difference with Sam, who, if you've watched our other videos, is a rescue that we took in. He was 12 years on a seed diet and very minimal handling, and he's totally turned a new leaf. Uh, he loves being out around us every day. He dances in his cage until we open the door. Um, he flies out. He loves to fly around the house throughout the day. And when he's out here on the porch, he actually rides ceiling fans in circles. It's hilarious. Foraging toys. The foraging toys, um, I found some ways to get those a little bit less expensive. There are some really great options out there through Planet Pleasures. Um, Bird Tricks also has some bundles they send out to make it like it's simpler for you than having to pick toys out. They have a subscription service, which is really cool. All those are things that come into play that will um, significantly change the behavior of your bird. The main things are going to be the amount of time that you're willing to invest in the bird every day. It's not like a weekly thing. And now you're going to be able to get away with not having to do stuff every day. There are definitely days that I don't train or spend one-on-one -on -one time with my birds. But on the other days, I'm having to do that so at least several times a week. So I've probably done a terrible job of giving advice whether or not I think it's a great idea to adopt a bird, but there's a lot to take into consideration and I don't think people do. I hope that, um, I don't know, kind of answer some questions for those of you who are maybe interested in adopting a bird. In some cases, people are giving them away and some people want a homing, a rehoming fee. I definitely would check with a rescue or a vet's off an avian vet's office because i think that they would be able to provide you with a better rehome bird because you don't really know what you're getting versus adopting from a place that has experience with the bird and they have a lot of experience with different birds and they should be able to home you with a bird um, that might be better for your circumstances if you have children if you have other pets in the home other birds please don't adopt a bird if you think that they make really great animals that just kind of hang out and don't really need any attention. Birds are flock animals and you become their flock when you adopt them. They cannot just be left in a cage 24 seven. Um, it's, I think the saying is engaged, not caged, so, which means if you take them out of their cage, don't just put them on the perch, let them out, interact with them, give them something fun to do. Even if it's training, if you're scared to hold them, you can do target training and different tricks and treats and stuff like that. Thanks for watching and check out some of our other videos. If you want to hear what Cookie says and what she talks about, I'll link that video for you below. She's trying to figure out how to get the door open. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like this video and leave a comment below. All the comments actually help this video get more views. So I appreciate your help and appreciate you always watching. Okay, say bye.